please stand. Forsake me not, O Lord, my God. Be not far from me. May haste and high come to help, come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we enter into this sacred celebration on this memorial of Saint Martin de Porras, let's acknowledge our sins. So prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let's pray. O God, who led Saint Martin de Porras, by the path of humility to heavenly glory. Grant that we may so follow his radiant example of this life as to merit to be exalted with him in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The Word of the Lord. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. My vows I will pay before those who fear the Lord. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall worship before him. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. For dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over all the nations. To him, indeed, shall all who sleep in the earth bow down. Before him shall bow all who go, go down to the dust, and I shall live for him. 
I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. Prosperity will serve him. Future generations will be told about the Lord and proclaim his deliverance to a people yet unborn, saying that he has done it. I will praise you, Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all you that labor and be burdened. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. One Sabbath, Jesus was at the house of a leader of the Pharisees to eat a meal. One of the dinner guests said to Jesus, Blessed is anyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then Jesus said to him, Someone gave a great dinner and invited many. At the time of the dinner, he sent his slave to say to those who had been invited, Come, for everything is ready now. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a piece of land and I must go out and see it. Please accept my regrets. Another said, I have bought five yokes of yolk of oxen and I am going to try them up. Try them out. Please accept my regrets. Another said, I have just been married and therefore I cannot come. So the slave returned and reported this to, the, to his master. Then the owner of the house became angry and said to his slave, Go out at once into the streets and lanes of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind, the lame. And the slave said, Sir, what you ordered has been done, and there is still room. Then the master said to the slave, Go out in the roads and lanes, and compel people to come in, so that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those who were invited will taste my dinner. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, the image of banquet is commonly used to describe the heavenly kingdom. What can a royal banquet tell us about God's kingdom. A king or the Lord normally sent out, sent out invitations well in advance to his subjects so that they have plenty of time to prepare for, the, for coming to the banquet. And in the Bible, heaven is frequently described as a great wedding banquet celebration given by God. The good news is that we are invited to the most important banquet of all. But Jesus in, this, in today's parable takes an unexpected twist when the invited guest made excuses. How insulting for the invited guest to refuse the king's invitation when the time of celebration came. They gave less importance of the king's request because they put their own interest above this. God invites every day to his Eucharistic banquet so we can be nourished by his life-giving word, body, blood and spirit. But unfortunately, we have many reasons and excuses not to attend it and these can distract us from 
accepting such gracious invitations and today in the gospel in the parable jesus mentions three kinds of excuses and reasons and the first excuse is due to our career our business that take precedence over god's claim on us we allow our work to absorb us more and keep us from the thought of god we are always on a hurry we feel uneasy when the mass exceeds the allotted time the second excuse is we allow other things we possess or want to distract us from the most important things of all god's kingdom like media television radio and so on or other diversions crowd out our time for god in prayer and study of his word we spend hours of time watching televisions and it wet we feel sleepy and tired when we pray the third excuse is we put our home and family ahead of god god never meant that our home and relationships to be used selfishly we serve god best when we invite him into our work into our community our homes and when we share our possessions with others god invites everyone to his heavenly banquet the call to holiness and salvation is universal and since we belong to his his people by the virtue of baptism we are the ones who received the invitation first despite our sins and shortcomings god still graciously invites us to his heavenly banquet this must lead us to the spirit of sincere repentance and humility as a servant of god fulton jeshin said the humble soul is always the thankful god thankful soul like blessed mother mary may we always be ready to say yes to the will of god promptly consistently and steadfastly at every moment of our life in this way we are always ready to respond to the lord's invitation to partake in his royal banquet prepared for us in his heavenly kingdom in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen let's stand and offer our prayers lord we pray that the church be united in our convictions free of all competitions or conceit thinking thinking first of the interest of others we pray to the lord, lord, lord. that the eucharist will always be the source and summit of the church's life and may those catholics who are struggling to return to mass during this pandemic soon feel confident to return we pray to the lord, lord, lord. as we celebrate the feast of saint martin de porras today we ask his intercession that we may be strong in our humility charity and holiness we pray to the lord, lord, lord. that the present racial tensions unrest and violence in many parts of the world will be will give way to respect and cooperation we pray to the lord today's mass is offered for the intentions of donato and enriqueta de cristoforo deceased de cristoforo family members gaspare and maria raiti for their intentions we pray to the lord let's let's also for our own personal intentions of this day
gracious and loving Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts that you give us at every moment of our lives. And we offer all our prayers through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this vine to offer. Due to the vine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of the times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works and so with angels and saints we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, for Son and the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Ronaldo Peter, our Bishop, Joseph, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. <coughs> Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, Saint Martin de Forest, who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be clear to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace, and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever, the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamp of God,
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not...
you will show me the path of life the fullness of joy in your presence o oh lord let us pray may the partaking of your power o oh lord increase in us we pray so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our lord Amen. the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit Amen. the mass is ended go in peace glorifying the lord by your life saint michael the archangel defend us in battle be our protection and quicken us in the night may god rebuke you